love with your eyes. I didn't fell in love, love. I didn't fell in love with your eyes. I didn't fell in love with your eyes. What's up you guys, welcome to my channel, my name is Kiara, but I go by Keeks, Keeks on the beat, Keeks with the cheeks, Kiwi, whichever one is fine with me. Today I'm going to be showing you guys the bang, not the bang, the bang, okay, I ain't gonna lie, this is probably one of the hardest hairstyles, the hardest hairstyles that I've tried, because every time I try it, I butcher this shit, so I finally, finally, was able to get a decent looking bang. I'm so glad I did and I was able to film it. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. Today's hair is from Unice, Eunice, whichever one, which I'm gonna go with Eunice. Eunice Hair Company. This is their 24 inch 13 by 4 HD lace body wave wig. They gave me some cute looking lashes, okay. Little, little headband, little situation. But yes, y'all. I finally got a bang. So we're gonna hop into this video and I'm gonna see y'all at the end.
Okay. So as y'all saw, as you guys saw, that shit took five years. I don't understand why it's so hard. I really don't. But you really just have to be patient. I don't know, maybe it's just me. And one thing I do notice about this hairstyle, it never just sticks. Like, it's always poking out. Y'all see that? That's why I had to put the scarf on a couple of times just to, like, put it down. Okay, so the hair is body wave, and I straightened it. But it took me a minute to get it straight, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. It's gonna get bone straight, but it's gonna take you a minute. Um, that might be a good and bad thing because of the fact that you're applying the heat and you have to run it through the curls so many times. I might have, like, fucked up the pattern. I'm gonna let y'all know once I uh, wash it again and see what, if it reverses back. But, yeah. This is the 24-inch Body Wave HD lace. The lace was beautiful. The uh, knots bleached very good. Okay, this is, like, a, a 150 density. It's not, like, super thick, as you guys can see. But it's not super thin either. Oh, this hair was shedding, y'all. Like, when I had first washed it, it got, like, real tangly. After I had, like, bleached the knots and everything. And I went to, like, comb it. And it started shedding, like. I'll keep you guys updated because I know Eunice, they got, like, they got mixed reviews on YouTube. And I don't want y'all to be thinking, like, I'll be doing this shit. And they be paying me to get them a good review. Hell no. Nah. I'm going to say what needs to be said. And it's coming out of love. Yeah, I didn't really have no problems so far. But you know how you know how hairy it is. You got to give it a good two, three weeks. All of my reviews, disclaimer, if you haven't noticed, all of my reviews are initial reviews. And I keep y'all updated via the comments when I'm wearing it out. So I'm also thinking about doing this thing because a lot of you have been reaching out asking to purchase the wigs. I will do this. Like, if I do sell the wigs, I will have the person that bought the wig to come and leave their comments on the wigs. So that y'all know. It ain't just me, you know, it's another opinion that y'all got to go off because a lot of y'all really be thinking that they be giving YouTubers the best hair. I don't fucking know. I'll probably do a, what you call it too, a case study. Would that be considered a case study? Like, I'm going to buy some hair and I'm going to have them send me some hair and I'm going to compare it. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna get to the bottom of it and let it, and we're going we're gonna to find out if they really do be sending us the good shit. But if you, you think we get the good shit, then just buy the wig off of YouTube or so. If you're interested in purchasing wigs, I will be selling some of them soon. Those who I do sell them to, I would love if you guys keep us updated with the review. Because y'all will take their word before y'all take mine, which is fucking crazy. Because I keep it 100%. I don't know about all these other YouTubers, but I keep it 100%. With that being said, I'm going to leave all of the specs in the description box below. I may or may not sell this wig. I don't know how I feel about if the bangs look perfect enough to sell it or not. Who knows? I'll, I'm going to keep y'all updated. It's such a cute little look. And one thing we need to stop seeing, we need to stop saying Chinese bang. That is just very ignorant. It's not Chinese bang. It's fringe bangs. I don't know where the where that term came from and why that's even a term but that's not every time i hear that i cringe stop saying it for real like it's not that it's fringe bangs that's the style fringe bangs okay um yeah rent over <laughs> another thing in order to ch achieve the fringe effect you can go in with this little tool right here this is a razor comb from the beauty supply they got like two ends on there one is for a more blunt cut, which is the shorter one right here. You see that? Let me see if I can zoom in. Don't matter. It got burnt up in my motherfucking eye comb. I know. So, the top one is for a more blunt cut. The bottom one is for a more fringe and feathered look. That's what I used. I used this end. Because as you guys can see, you see the combs are in there. And this pretty much is like a thinner. So, if I was to take my hair and comb through this right now. Let me see if I could. If I was to take, um... A piece of hair right and comb through it this this basically thins the hair out hold on let's see you see how the comb goes directly through it and then the razor follows so it doesn't cut all the hair it just thins it out it's texture I want to say they texturizing shears kind of it kind of like texturizing shears see that you see how just little pieces of it as opposed to if I go in with the blunt side y'all ready the blunt side gives you more, like, you see that? The hair is cut in half. <laughs> Don't focus on me, focus on the hair. But yes, if you use the, the side where the combs are a little bit, you know, more noticeable, then you are going to get a very good, you know, feathered look. If you don't have this tool, because I couldn't find mine earlier, so you guys saw me taking my scissors 
and using it the vertical way and just going in and cutting like that that removes a little bit of weight at the end and it also takes the look from a blunt to a feathered fringe cut so yeah i hope that helped y'all that should help y'all if you guys like this video make sure you hit the thumbs up button i'm sorry my finger hurt a little bit i kind of burned myself make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you aren't subscribed already and turn on your post notifications so you know when i post i post monday wednesdays and fridays the time i do not know that's why your post notifications need to be on and yeah as always i'll see you guys in my next one bye 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 bye